So, manic week this week, so busy. Uh, didn't do a video on Wednesday because Bradford City played Newcastle and we got absolutely spanked 4 0. Um, saw some trialists on show, which was very random. Yes, yeah, so I didn't have time to do one then as we were doing a podcast with Dom uh, on the Wednesday. Yesterday, I went to Diggerland with the family, which is essentially like a building site that kids can run around and jump on diggers and stuff. Uh, it's quite good actually if you haven't been check it out it's quite good to um, have a go on a digger never had a go before scooping up the earth um, and uh, today's just been because I missed two years of work obviously today has been absolutely mad which reminds me put the phone down there uh, I'll shut that window it's a bit loud isn't it uh, so yeah now I've kind of forgot don't forget about the series, I, f I forgot where we were at, so I had to have a quick reminder uh, and I'll remind you as well because it's been a while. So we beat Stockport last game, we won 1-0 against the mighty Stockport. Uh, then we played Sheffield United, we drew 2-2 away, Coventry at home and I've adopted this formation of like attack, attack, attack. Um, I'm dropping Gareth Wally, he's had the last two games, he hasn't been great, I'm bringing him back like Loglu. Um, I've got Neil Meller up top in the middle with Tomadera and Blake Harris side him and Gary Speed keeps his DMC position because last two games he's played really really well um, so it's 2-2 two, two draw against Sheffield United he got an 8 like look at those stats and then the last game against Stockport he got a 9 and made loads of passes so I'm keeping him as DMC um, all being well I've got Palace in 7 days Palace um, kind of mid-table um, uh, they're all I'm getting them all at the end of the season, aren't I? All these. Forgot about all these guys. Uh, oh, apparently Phil Mulrine is. Thanks for your comments, by the way, on the last video. I appreciate it. Um, just take that one there. Phil Mulrine, he, he's got a, a randomly. Well, he's quite an interesting profession. Um, let's try and find it. He's now a priest for the Roman Catholic Church. I mean, he's Northern Irish, so it's kind of hand in hand. Uh, but yeah, weird, eh? Because he's like his stats are brilliant. Like he's got really good stats. Um, but it's just amazing what people go on to. Uh, also, the William Triffey, love the series on Football Manager. I go four one two one two. Uh, leaves you with a solid form on defence, and you still have two fights, two strikers up front, and four midfielders. Johnny Montano says blue and red bar making Barcelona unmanageable in champ man since forever and he's totally right like when I play my awake it on this it kills me I'm struggling to read the actual bar it's uh yeah, it's weird anyway let's crack on because we've got five games and we've still got a chance of reaching the playoffs which is we're in the playoffs but we're setting them with seven points clear so I reckon another two wins will see us there which could be this video ah oh. Aga has accepted them instead. Brilliant. Got a text! Okwankwo. No, mate. No, mate. Now, I've, I've offered these contracts to guys before, but... So I offered them a contract. They accept. They were about to accept it, and then the transfer window ended, so the game were like, totally scrapped those contracts. It was a bit weird how the game reacted to that, actually. Probably not what would actually happen in real life. Oh, Birmingham lost to West Brom. That's a bit. That was a massive game, wasn't it? That. Look at that. What a game that was. And how does that leave the league table then? Probably better. Better for me. Uh, lost to. Oh, and just typically, Gary Spee's now injured. But Hakamild will come in and and do perfectly well there. Uh, I don't know who to put as captain. Do you have a victory? I don't know what to do. Who would I put as captain? I can mail the do do that as captain. Ray Blake? No. Come on, lads. Get in there. Get in early. Oh, I'm playing in my blood. Why? Why, chap man? Am I playing in blue and red and they're playing in red and blue? How, how does that even work? I wish there were a way of changing the contrast. Come on, Robbie Blake. 
Ah, you'll know this guy, David Hopkin. So we paid two and a half million for him as well, that flat. Our Bradford City's biggest ever transfer paid for a player was this guy, and it still stands to this day. And he was crap. He had, a, he had a big throw on him, and that were about it. And it wasn't even that big a throw, really. It was just, it was kind of like half big. It wasn't like a Rory de Lap. Now, the, 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 as ever, playing in this formation leaves you wide open at the back, and you do concede goals. But as long as you score as more than them, or as many as them, you get some out of the game. Obviously. Oh my lord, Tom Adair again, long shots. Can it back a little ogle on those hits? And Calstrom, my midfielder's doing the deed in the centre of the park. And we're just going to change up, up in a bit. What I've been doing, I've been dropping a, a centre forward into that midfield or holding position and bringing like McCall on or whoever. And that's what I'll probably do now before the score. Fancy he. So I'll bring Neil and Miller in and put McCall in there. That, that's what essentially what I've been doing. And, and that's just going to show that midfield, give a bit more ex extra space in there. And McCall, blood, bit, bloody hell, it'll just come in and pull the strings. Sun Ji He. Fan Ji He, one of the first Chinese people to play in the Premier League. There's a fact for you. If I get, I'd be so happy with a clean sheet. You know, the team that's going in, into the playoffs in form is normally the team that goes up. And in the moment in time, I'm in form. 3 0 away to Palace is a brilliant, brilliant result. Uh, assist from Calstrom and Bakalik Loglu. Jamie, D uh, Mike Duff with a 9. Chotis with a 9 as well. I mean, they exactly weren't shy with shooting, were they? Sure, it's had an absolute barnstorm. And I've moved into fifth, fifth, and I'm still seven points clear of Grimsby. And I think Birmingham have got a playoff place, and they're on 82. Oh, two. But if I win the next game, that's 77. That's seven. Still three to go. It depends on how Grimsby do. Who've Grimsby got? Sorry for all the jumping around. I'm just a bit nervous. They've got Man City in two days. So if, if they if Man City beat them, oh my God, this could be over in the next game. Oh, Rangers. Tempted, love Rangers. Used to love managing Rangers on uh, on Chapman because they've got loads of money and you can sign some right players. Should we watch the? Uh... Oh, here we are, Man City Grimsby. Brilliant. That were quick. Is everyone knackered then now? Oh, sugar lump. Sugar lump. Uh, let's play Gaswall for Calstrom. Keep it as it is. How did Hacker Mill do? Got an eight. Quality. Let's go for it, boys. I'm going to have one eye on the Man City game, one eye on this game, because if I win... Bloody hell, stop. Stop scoring. Oh my god. Who have Jill and them got in there? A bloody traffic cone. Oh my god, David. Oh, David, you are terrible. Oh, David, have they not got another keeper? Oh my god, this is. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Why aren't they playing Vince Barter in there or Jason Brown? What? Oh, Jason Brown's there. That's weird how they're playing David. And Man City winning 3 0. That's it. There's no way Man Grimsby could come back from that. And there's no way um, Jelly could come back from this one. So it's looking like I've achieved that playoff place. Just what I wanted. So we've got three games. The question is, from these three games, what I need to start thinking about now, do I keep the same team, keep the momentum going, keep winning, boom, 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 I want you in my room. Oh, my God, Jimmy Victory. <laughs> Tom Madeira, Risp. Uh, let's get the change on now. No point in waiting for the... Uh, for the players to get injured. 
Little curveball here beyond Steve Stevie Warnock in midfield. Um so Oh my Oh my god. Jamie Victory's got three assists. I'm winning five nil. So do I keep Man City win three one? So I keep the form, do I keep the team? Do I change up? Do I rest players in those three games? What do I do? Well, first of all, I'll be bashing out another game straight after this. Just get out of the way. Um, as it doesn't actually matter. If I can still meet, I'll just double check. I can't still mathematically make automatics before I do anything else. Two goals for Neil Mellor. Boom. Boom. Why do I keep seeing boom? Six to passes. Look at this. Poor David. I feel so sorry for David. The doubt. So on Sean Dyke, you'll know, as, as manager of Burnley now. Uh, Big big centre half back in the day. Um, eleven points. I'm eleven points off. That can't be right. I'm eleven points eight. I'm eleven points off Wolves. Oh, it's broken. I'll be back in a minute. Crap. Gonna have to go. Um, can I can I get the next game out? Yeah, it can wait. Let's get this next game out. Come on, Tom. Right, keep the same team for this game. Uh, and I, in fact, I'll put Carlson back in. I want to keep the momentum going up. Sorry, I'm not. I like this didn't see them for five minutes. Anyway, I want to keep the momentum going on. I can't get it automatic, which is fine. But I want to finish as high as I possibly can. Um, and this is a good test for me. West Brom are in the playoffs. Uh, seven, eight, um, eight points clear. Yeah, so I'm fine. Three game, eight, nine. Oh yeah. In fact, I'm not actually quite secured ever. Eh? Grimsy got a draw. Bloody hell, I didn't even look at that. Jesus. So I haven't actually secured it yet. Pr I pretty much have. Oh, yeah, we know. It's a good test list for my team, though. Because chances are, if I do well in the playoffs, I'll be playing uh, West Brom at some point. Blake, come on. Just wanted to look at that. 21 assists. Treba West assists this time, though. You know, the good thing is I'm gonna be I'm gonna be attacking these players away from home, uh, these teams away from home, but then I'm bring I'm gonna bring them back to Valley Parade, I'm gonna dick them even more. That's gonna be the idea behind this. On the, in the playoffs, that is. Come on, lads. Get in, Carl Strom. Rigging, gorgeous person. Um, do I need to make a change? I could do a sure it up. I don't know why I did that. Right, sure it up now. Sure it up now. Blake, come off. Blake, oh, Blake's got two. I can't bring him off. I'm going to bring Tom Adair off. Oh, my God. What am I going to do with you? I don't know why I did that. We are flying! We are flying in this league. And if I just had this run of form and players a, f a, a month ago, I'd be in the automatics. I can almost guarantee it. 3 1 win. Boom, boom, boom. In the playoffs. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Gillingham relegated. Not bothered. Here goes. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. So, I've got two games left. Home to Barnes, away to Potter. Not bothered. Then I get to the playoffs. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe, stay tuned. Now is the time I need your help and backing. What do I do? Rest players, go for it. I just didn't know, Captain. Until next time, bye-bye.